Next, we are going to write some fractions as decimals and vice versa. 37 thousandths. You should be able to tell by now. You need three decimal digits. So you need to put 37 right there. How about 37 hundredths? This time you will need two decimal digits, so the 37 goes like that. And the last one is easy, right? 16 thousandths, 0 0.016. Okay, a decimal, and write that as a fraction. If you can read it, then you can write it as a fraction too. And by reading, I don't mean read it like 0 0.052. Read it as 52 thousandths, right? There are three decimal digits, and that means thousandths. This last one, we can write it as a mixed number or as a fraction. As a mixed number, it has one here, so I would have one as my whole number part, then two, zero, four, two hundred, four thousandths, right? I'm going to write it as a fraction as well. If I write it as a fraction, the denominator is still 1,000. These three decimal digits are signifying the 1,000. Then I will just write this whole thing here in the top. 1, 2, 0, 4. 1,200, 4 thousandths. Next, we're going to compare some decimals. The first comparison is this. 0 0.007 and 0 0.07. Which one is more? Or are they equal? You know, some students think these two decimals are equal because they both seem to have just, you know, seven on the other side of the decimal point. But that's wrong, as you can guess. Let's write these two numbers into the place value chart to see how they compare. In math, it's going to be your turn, okay? Okay, you got it right, yeah, but a little sloppy. Now we're going to compare these two numbers place by place. Starting here at the ones place, okay, they have the same number of ones. Then in the tenths place, they have the same number of tenths. But in the hundredths place, there's seven hundredths, whereas there's none here. So this is where this bottom number wins, so to speak. Okay, it is the bigger number. Now you might ask, what about the thousandths? Well, they don't count because... As you remember, ten thousandths would make one hundredth. If I had ten here, then I would get one hundredth here. But this is less than ten. So these seven thousandths are less than one hundredth. So they don't count. When there are some hundredths here, when there are more hundredths here than here, then this number is bigger. There's also another way you can easily see this. And that is, if I place a zero here, or here, and I read this number as 70 thousandths, then obviously it is more than 7 thousandths. Let's compare some more. Over here I have 8.022, 8.002. Okay, both of them are of the same length, so to speak, or they have the same number of decimal digits. Here we have 8, and then we have 22, 22 thousandths and 2 thousandths. So that's easy, right? Obviously 22 is more than 2. Then over here, 8.22, 8.220. Can you tell now which one is more? Again, some students think that this must be more because there's 220 versus 22. But I'm going to use my trick and put zero here so that we have three decimals here and three decimals here, right? This does not change the value of the number, okay? And now you can see they are equal. They are equal in value. How about here? Again, it might look like that 114 is more than 4, but you cannot compare that way. That's the wrong way. That's a misconception. I can use my trick and put zeros here in the hundredths and thousandths places and read this number as 9 and 400 thousandths. And this one has 9 and 114 thousandths. So easy. This one is more. The last one you can do yourself, right? Pretty easy. Tag a zero there. 
And now we can see that 750,000 is the greater number. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.